yours, young man, because here comes the kickoff. You can see Techers is going to be in the red. In the white is going to be Legend. And he'll get it first, and he'll lie down at the 33-yard line, and that's where his drive will start. Yeah, and Legend here is going to come out with the ball. Uh, I asked him what his game plan was, and it was the most legit game plan I've heard. He said, I'm here to keep it simple. I've got no chemistries. I've got no abilities. I put my roster together with the best cap player that I could fit at every position without having to worry about anything else. Uh, he's got a maxed out Khalil and Lawrence Taylor coming off the edge. So he's really going to rely on that pass rush this game. All right, I think everything's set to go. They look over the admins just to make sure that all their audibles and depth charts and everything is set. Everybody's cool with that. And it looks like they are. So it looks like we're ready to play here on first and 10. Opening drive of the ball game here in semifinal number two. We mentioned Goes is waiting in the final to see who he's going to face, and he starts off with a handoff to Ricky Williams. Techers is going to be in the Ravens book defensively here, trying to stop this. Just, just the, the keep it simple offense. That's what Legend said he does. He said he doesn't have anything too, too fancy. Uh, he's going to do exactly what brought him here. Uh, didn't mix up the lineup at all. He didn't want it, even when he went to 11.75, he said he used a couple extra power-ups, uh, but didn't use any of that extra cap to add any kind of chemistries or anything along those lines. Legend took home $1,000 last year. They doubled that for this year. So he's got two grand in his pocket, three grand overall in his MCS era, and he checks it down, makes... I believe that was Jamal Adams miss and picks up the first down. Indeed it was. You see fire in the rock here for him. That's the full powered up Jared Goff there. Uh, haven't seen tons of him in the Madden competitive season. Uh, but another one of those players that's uh, over 70 speed, but still has the arm to make all the throws. Uh, and again, one of those players that's right-handed that just a lot of our competitors are more comfortable with. Well, a clean pocket. That's what it's all about. If he's not under pressure, he can make throws like that. Almost brought in by Randy Moss into the double coverage, but a great throw to the outside. Definitely was. Just a good rally by the secondary there. One player knocks the ball out. The other player finishes the tackle, makes sure the catch can't be caught on the ground. New Hopkins, first time I've seen him much this year as they flip the trips over to his side. Kittle it tight end. You see Ricky Williams off to the left. Hopkins in motion. And on second and 10, he'll go to the flat. Look at Ricky Williams turn it upfield. In plus territory to the 47. Here comes a big third and two. Yeah, you mentioned that D-hop that he was using as a decoy on the outside there before he threw that table route. That's the 94 overall D-hop. Haven't seen much of him, but he's got great stats when it comes to the jump, the spec catch, and the catch in traffic. Going to flip the bunch. Terrell Owens will be solo to the left. He's got a staple of wide receivers in this squad. Got to get rid of it, and he does. That picks up the first down and more all the way at the 38-yard line. What a sling by golf there to get it away. And just a good job by the running back there, coming out of the backfield, just going on a little bit of an uh, in route there, and then gets himself down so he doesn't have to take any unnecessary tackles. So first and 10 at the 38 now. Good-looking open and drive here for Legend. Talk about this is a flu game for him. Under the weather. But I think once that kickoff happened, I mean, you're not thinking about any of that. Your mind kind of uh, goes at ease once that ball goes into the air for the opening kickoff. Uh, you feel more at home. Just like all of our competitors, Madden is what makes them most comfortable. Second and six. Trying to get in field goal range here. Boy, all kind of time. He throws in the double coverage again, and this time it comes back to bite him as Jones hauls it in at the eight. That's a huge turnover. Definitely is. Big pick for Techers there. We get our first chance to see him on offense. And just a good jumping of a route there. Legend maybe tried to force a corner out into double coverage. Great click on. Even better interception there. Techers is now going to come out in his version of the West Coast offense. So first and 10 now at the eight. The good news is he holds on the opening drive. The bad news is this drive is starting well back in his own territory. And sometimes you see a little delay of game at this, on the first possession and on the other side because there's audibles being set. That's sort of a gentleman's agreement. They don't have to do that. Uh, some players 
don't say they don't have time for that. <laughs> and they'll go ahead and hit you with that five yards, which would be detrimental right now. That would have pushed it back to the four-yard line. That alone, great sportsmanship. And here we go. First and ten. You're going to see the throwback Madden 04 Vic sling into the flats there to Shannon Sharp. He's got one chemistry there. He's got the Moss with a deep route, which, again, probably means you will see him in the slot more often than not. You put that deep route specialist on a wide receiver in West Coast, you can make it look very close to New England and kind of have a mix of the best of both worlds when it comes to the shotgun bunch. Excellent point. Second and four. Safety dish dropped very low on the left side of the field there. Let's see if Techers tries to take a chance. Got to pick up the blitz, and he does. Get rid of it. And almost threw that into coverage, and he did. And what that was there, I think a little bit of a predetermined read. He saw the one-on-one -on -one matchup, but once you got flushed out of the pocket like that and had to turn around to make that, make that throw, maybe better off just throwing that thing away. Gave Legend time to go ahead and square his defender up, and that's a user pick. He's going to look at that pass again and realize that he had B just sitting in a hitch right around the first down marker. Nevertheless, we got two turnovers already, so no harm done here for Legend. Good job of taking that opposite side there. Designed to go up the middle on the dive. Didn't like what he saw up the middle. Went ahead and changed direction, took it outside. Ends up losing two there. It's going to bring up a second and 12. My opinion, outside of field goal range. But he's in there now, and they'll mark it at the 30 and a half. It's going to bring up a third and eight. Make it the 31 yard line. Listen, 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 listen. Offensively, Legend likes to keep the ball on the ground. It was top 21 when it came to rush offense on the qualification ladders. Uh, 37 overall offense, so he's not too shabby when it comes to slinging the rock either. Just prefers to keep it on the ground. That's some of the things that you, that's the pro sometimes, the con sometimes I should say of that spin move, is it can cost you field position, and there's another pick. And there's that out of position Ladanian Tomlinson that I had mentioned earlier. He has got him playing middle linebacker for him, and you see exactly why right there. A good jump, and he gets in front, broke a tackle as well. Legend picked off by the Legend LT out of position, and this is better field position. Here for Techers, expecting a much different scenario now. We really feel like you can run your offense here at the 32. Yeah, once you're inside that 10-yard line on your own side, you just get a little worried there. Yeah, that's all you need right there. Amari Cooper makes a move, picks up the first down a little bit more out to the 47. Beautiful spin to make a man miss there by Amari. You notice he didn't drop back quite as far there. It seems like he was more comfortable where he was on the field there. And there's that out of position Man. LT making a play. Just jumped right in front of the ball. Just reached his hands in front of the receivers. Yeah, New Coppin's got to fight for that, even if you got to click on. At this point, on this level of Madden, when you're in the top 128, if you're not clicking on on both sides of the ball, there's going to be some plays that absolutely cost you. That little things like that are going to end up being the entire difference of the game. It's going to have to be your user against their user after you make a mistake like that. Second and five now, and plus territory. Across the Redskins logo here at the 49-yard line. See, Johnson and Moss, and then Sharp is in the bunch. And he's going to RB here. That's Randy Moss all the way down at the 27. That might take us to the second quarter in a 0-0 ball game. We've had three turnovers in the first five minutes. Great job pass leading this one outside to get that ball away from the legend Ed Reed to where Randy Moss is the only player on the field that can make a play on that ball. So now he's just outside the red zone, certainly in field goal range. It's been a stingy ball game though thus far. Tecker's the 21-year-old from United Kingdom. Right there in Coventry King. I'm a big fan of Coventry City, the, the football program. Not in the Premier League, but they are down there among the, the, the championships and FL1 ranks. Vic steps in, throws to the corner, and Moss will go out of bounds at the half-yard line. It's first and goal. Absolutely wide open. Just no one around him there. It's a route combination, only a single high safety against that cover two, and that's exactly how you beat Boy, that. Boy, that was close to a touchdown. He had that ball on his right arm. 
as he was going across that pylon, and he'll hand it off to Shannon Sharp, and he'll get in there. Touchdown, Techers. Brilliant. Got to feel good to make this long of a trek, finally get that first point on the board. It's a rushing touchdown for Shannon. It's 7-0. Fullback dive has been the most effective running play since I picked up the sticks in Madden 01, and it stays that way today. Boy, a cracking drive there. Brilliant indeed. My Techers, who you're wondering, he's from Europe. You know, you alluded to it earlier. His dad was a huge Redskins fan because the Redskins played the Dolphins in London in 1981. I assume that was in the old Wembley. And it grew from there. Yeah, Techers told me right now his favorite player on the team is Jonathan Allen, giving love to the big boys in the trenches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I like to hear. As Nuke is able to pull it in at the 42. I'm telling you, a decade from now, you're going to have guys. We already have guys in Canada, but you're going to have guys in Europe. You're going to have guys in Mexico. I mean, it's, it's going to be quite an international scene as American football continues to grow. And yeah, like you alluded to earlier, we've got the uh, single Canadian that qualified for club championships as well. I, mean, I don't know if he's married or not. I mean, how do you know he's single? He's, I could just tell. He had, he had that vibe to him. <laughs> oh, goodness. He was enjoying himself on Fremont. I, just, I, hand you, I hand you shovels, and you just keep on digging. That's, that's the grocery style. And that'll be enough for a first down for Ricky Williams. Just a simple handoff in the backfield there. Take what Techers has given you. It's a 3-4 over that you're seeing here. So it's a 3-4, but it gives you a four down lineman look. See, this is where, I, you know, this is why RG is my, my number one color commentator. He comes in with a text message saying, no, no, no. Dolphin Skins was the first televised game in the UK, but was not played there. So I can speak, I, I can speak from a guy from the South. We didn't have the Carolina Panthers growing up. So a lot of folks in the Carolinas where I'm from are either Redskins fans, because that was the local team, so to speak, or Cowboys fans, because Cowboys always had the national game of the week. So I, I can speak from, you know, hey, you see a team and you're like, hey, who are you going with? You know, and he, I think his dad said as his brother went with the Dolphins, he went with the Redskins, and there they go. Third and five. RG trying to keep us honest, and I appreciate it. Donnie Moore's not in the building, so someone's got to keep me to the facts. Ball at the 44. Here for legend. Hands it off to Ricky Williams. He'll get to the 42, and now here comes the decision, and he's going to go hurry up. Yeah, from someone needs to do stats. Not to cut you off, Groshi, but someone needs to do stats on this hurry up on fourth down. The percentage of making it has got to be like 4%. Conversion rate goes down when you yeah, hurry up for yeah, the fourth absolutely. down? absolutely. I can see that. I call it enough games at this level, and he, it does get a completion, so now that rate goes up to 5.4%. The most important for him. And you got it done. He got the first down. The biggest difference there from what Legend did last time is he does click on and moves his receiver manually to have to cut that route off because it was overthrown, and he put his receiver in position to make that catch. Great stick skills by Legend. And there's a sack on first down, and that's big. It's an eight-yard loss, so nice job there by Techers to push him to the 38. And that's just a, that's just a simple four-man rush there. He learned that from watching Jonathan Allen on every Sunday. Takes you to the two-minute warning. Legend looking to tie this game up. So 7-0. Here's the two-minute warning. It's second and 18. You really feel like Legend's got to get something here, some momentum. Empties out his backfield. And we're looking at the defensive side of the ball here. You can see that spy. See that orange circle? And the lineman just stand up right there to keep the containment on golf. And not only do you get the containment, but you also, you also kind of get a middle linebacker, so to speak, that does it, doesn't move. He's just like an anchor right there. Definitely. He's able to take away two different things. He's able to take away the quarterback run. He's, take, he's able to take away a lot of the over-the-middle passes there. It's an underused hot route on defense, and it's one of my favorite routes on defense. If you want to make an adjustment to any of your players, spy may be something you want to take a look at. Well, you got to watch out with the run up the gut. That's the one thing you'll get with the spy, and that was awkward. 
I think he ran into a lineman there, which caused that ball to just come out a little, a little awkward. He's got a 48-yard kick. He's gonna try here. That was like grocery at a middle school dance. It's not that awkward. <laughs> they said they needed chaperones. <laughs> It's up and it's good. I'm not saying now at a middle school, middle school dance. I'm saying when you were in middle school. Oh, just can we strike that then? <laughs> 126 to go. He does get points, and I think that's important. Uh, because now if somehow you either get the ball back or you force Techers into a three, you're still in business. It's still a one-score game. Yeah, you never want to get that far up the field and come away with no points. It's more of a uh, mental thing than it is anything else there. Couldn't agree more. Scott Cole, a.k.a. Coltrane, along with Big Grocery. That's the voice that you hear here in the semifinal number two. Goes is in the final, and we're waiting to see. Is it going to be Legend or Techers that has the opportunity to defeat the Finning champ and maybe play in San Francisco next week at the club championship? And Techers there had to click on at the very last second or else that was going to get jumped by that safety back there. Great job of getting that route cut off by the wide receiver. If you're not clicking on, you're doing it wrong, especially on these, some of these possession catch dives. As you see, Amari Cooper go to the 38. Still has plenty of timeouts here. He's not using them yet, which is the smart man and move. And you may see Legend start to reach in his back pocket. He also has three timeouts available. You may see him take a few of them if he gets maybe a hit in the backfield here uh, or anything for a short gain to try to get this ball back. So first and ten, bunch to the right this time. Vic, that's time. Rolling, looking, playmakers the other way and just decides to throw it away. I think that was smart because his body was certainly in the right-handed style there for the lefty. Yeah, if you pass that ball, there is a good chance it's underthrown by quite a bit and it's picked off. Outside of field goal range here, though. Vic, quick throw to the outside. He's got a chance to double dip the chip here. He's going to get the ball on the other side of the half. So if he can even get three here and then get the ball to start the half, he could be in business to take control of this ball game. 23 ticks to go. Still has all three timeouts. And hauled in for the touchdown, Randy Moss. That was just beautiful. That was guarded for about 90% of that play, and as soon as he manually ran away from it, he went ahead and fired it because he knew the computer wasn't going to stop him. Techers is showing some great pocket presence right now. Just puts it where only Randy can get it. Three defenders, and yet Randy's the only one to touch the ball. A lot of timeouts, or a lot of time for Legend here with three timeouts. 14 seconds. Yeah, short kick. Only needs maybe 30 yards to be able to get in the field goal range. He can yeah. make something happen and get this right back to a one-score game. I think it's almost a must. I mean, I know that's a lot of pressure because you're going to maybe get two plays here. And you can see that Techers has opened up the defense there. You're watching Tech. This is from Techers' view. Legend obviously can't see that for those that – I know 99% I know of you guys know that, but I just want to – Made that clarification that they're not playing on the same screen. Opposite screens. You can't see the play calling. Can't see any of that kind of stuff. And that's a great throw to the 46. He needs another probably a 12 or 13 yards. I'd say at the bare minimum he needs that. Uh, everything's going to be available here with those three timeouts. He could throw. He could scramble with the quarterback. Quick throw. D-Hop's going to pick up six. Still going to need a few yards, in my opinion, here. That took three seconds. So if he can get a similar route, probably means more like, hmm. I mean, somewhere in the six to eight range here. Too much time. Too much time. And now you got to go to the end zone. Big drop there. If he catches that, you don't, you're not sure if you're able to get that timeout in in time. And he is going to attempt a 57-yard field goal here. Okay. I'd say uh, in the 743 games that Legend played online, <laughs> he, he probably knows his kicker's All distance. Right, I got to see the win here. It's seven miles per hour right to left. And then a little bit back in his face here. He does kick it 100% perfect. You guys can't see it on your screen, but it's the top 
of the meter. And it's off the crossbar. Mm. Maximum range, maximum kick, and just that little bit of wind coming back at him. I'm talking about the, it was the, the arrow was just a little bit back into his face. Not by much, but that was enough to have him come up a yard short. So maybe with, even with that same wind or no wind, we figure he's good from 56-ish? Yeah. 55 maybe. A, a, but that was all, all he had. That was top of the meter. Top of the meter perfect. Already up two possessions. Tecker's going to look to make this three. Legend made some late adjustments to a DB out there. It comes through anyway. Don't think he had his outside right corner where he wanted him. Luckily, that blitz comes in, and it doesn't matter about the placement in the secondary. So second and 19 from the 29. It's got some scissor routes going in that it's a bunch here. Vic. Steps, throws, and Cooper can't hang on. Good job of knocking that ball loose. Instead of going for the hit stick, he goes for the strip, and Sean Taylor rips that out of the arms of Cooper. Pressure from the right, throws a motion wheel route. Last time when he motioned him, he had him on the inside post. This time when he motions him, he has him on the wheel route. Good job of mixing it up there. Yeah, here it is again on fourth and three, uh, excuse me, third and 19 to make it a fourth and three. And here's the bunch that's going to be flipped. Cooper solo to the right. Johnson, Moss, and Sharp in the bunch. Dual spies on the field there. Uh, B is all the way open. Great find, great look. And that's a basic route. I mean, that's not a lot of adjustments there. That's up to the line. Yeah, just a simple in route there. Gets behind the spies, but stays in front of the three rec hook that he had behind there. Yeah, I didn't see the user out there, but there was a whole lot of coverage to the right side of the field. Opening up the left side of that defense and the tender spaces. As Farrells and Gibbs likes to say. Fournette. A little. Nice job avoiding the tackle for a moment, falling backwards for yards in the right direction, but falling backwards for five. Only the second rush of the game for Techers. He only averaged just a little under 40 rushing yards per game in his bracket play, in his ladder play. Uh, more of a pass heavy type player. Looks like he's got about a uh, 60. Actually, about a 65-35 split when it comes to his play calling. Vic. Throwing. Nearly picked off. Just didn't get that foot down. He was <laughs> very close. I think he was maybe a toe away from getting that interception. Well, it almost looked like he was dragging those two feet trying to stay in bounds. Legend knew that was the, that was the play he needed to turn the... Flip this script, so to speak, because right now it's all tackers. That could have been a big momentum swing there. Now, does that count as a dropped pick? So is this a touchdown, like tackers has got to go up top? Yeah, I don't know. I think that might be the move. Certainly deep downfield into the red zone at the 14-yard line. He's 11 of 15 for 185 yards. Moss is over the century mark, by the way, on four receptions. He's also doing a great job of running the clock here. Almost half of the third quarter is gone already on the single drive by Techers here. Hey, you go up three scores here. Feeling pretty good. Vic. Right now, Legend, he's a hold him to a field goal. Looking on first down. And he'll throw it away. Legend recognized he was given too much time there, so he sent whatever zone he had from the middle of the field, which caused Vic to roll out and finally get rid of that ball. Hopefully a lot of his mates back home in the UK tuning in. Trying to see what the first European in our uh, competition over here in America can do. And Fournette gets to the six yard line. Obviously play a lot of FIFA, call a lot of FIFA, so got a lot of respect. I wake up early on, on Saturdays and Sundays 
uh, to catch my other favorite football across the pond. I'm a big Juventud Guerrero fan. Love watching him. So third and two from the six-yard line. I'm pretty sure you just named a WWE tag team, but it was a singles wrestler. I don't want to check your math here at this point. It's going to be a fourth down here, and so that's the play legend needed to hold him to three, keep it a two-score game. We mentioned the amount of clock that has been churned up here. This is not a perfect kick. Legend is lined up on the outside guy on the left side of your screen. Boy, would that make things interesting if he can come screaming. Not going to get in there. The chip field goal is up and good, and it's back to a 14-point lead. Legend needs a touchdown here. Techers has showed us a couple times now that he can control the clock without having to run the ball whatsoever. Legend's going to need to put a touchdown on the board on this drive. This will get to the 25-yard line. Little spin move, and he'll start at the 35. I, and I, I say this way too much, but you need a touchdown right here. I, th I feel it has to be. Another field goal, still an 11-point game, not a ton of time. Techers just took off three and a half minutes with what seemed like ease moving down the field. Nuke solo to the right. First time we've seen Jared Goff in a while. And he's dancing around a fallen defender, and he'll just throw it away. That tells me you got nobody underneath. And at some point, you got a playmaker, somebody open. If you don't have that playmaking, and I'm not, you know, I'm not even talking about the chemistry. If you don't have the playmaking ability and skill set uh, into your game, you're, you're not going to go very far. That's a staple a competitive football. If someone leaves you so far open, eventually those, those wide receivers are going to get open. Good drag route there. Just a simple one. Third and one. DC, DC. Amos doing a good job to sort of wrestle him to the ground there. That's wrestling is what that is. Looks like he's got T.O. one-on-one out there. Let's see, can he win the hand fight battle and get past him? And it's going to be a hit. It's going to be a fumble. Recovered by one of the big fellas, and that'll at least give him a chance at the fourth down, but that's a loss of 12. Oh, wow. Just didn't get his hands on it. Just let the speed rush get right past him. Luckily, he jumps on the football to cover up his own mistake. But there's nothing worse for a left tackle. You give up the sack and fumble, and then you got to recover it. And this is fourth in the game. Might be too early to call this, but that's what it feels like to me. I mean, you're talking about we're coming up on five minutes remaining. We got 20 seconds left in the quarter. You need it, legend. Want to live up to your name? No, sir. Vic Beasley that time off the edge. But the left tackle has gotten beat on two consecutive plays, and it's cost the legend a turnover on downs here. That time he left the running back in. The running back gets a hold of Vic Beasley, but he's not going to be able to stay in front of that man for too long. Vic Beasley Jr. from the greatest university ever invented in the entire world. I don't remember his eligibility at the University of Florida. <laughs> this is where I insert comments of laptops, but I'll just keep rocking along here. It's the start of the fourth quarter. Atlanta Falcons and the Houston Texans have so many clips of Tigers on their roster. Second and three. Techers with a touchdown here can pretty much seal this thing. Double, double, double. Even a field goal. I mean, you need a turnover. You need a hit stick right here. And that'll be a first down at the 19. Only a sixth rush. But he's, he's timed them well. He, he's, he, even though he's not running the ball very much, he's doing it enough to where Legend just can't sell out and just send nothing but speed rushes from the outside. Of course, I'm sure Goes is somewhere in the building watching. See, he's going to play. Will it be Techers? Boy, he's looked good. And we got a neutral zone infraction. That's going to move it up. He's going to decline that. All right. There's some sportsmanship. 
one thing if your user gets into the neutral zone. It's another thing if, all right, if it's just a misalignment. What I like there is he manually ran through the gap and then clicked off to be able to make the tackle. So you see him get through the gap, click off, and then let the computer make the tackle and finish it off. That's, uh, for the last two years, probably been one of the most effective run defenses. You attack the gap and let the computer clean it up. You end up clicking onto a player on the outside, and you make sure you force him to stay in the lane. So second and 13 now. Clock is moving. 4.08 to go in this ball game. Tackers trying to hold on, and face goes. Fournette. 14 point ball game. There he is. Got his brother in the building with him. <laughs> there they are. Coming all the way over from New Jersey. Represent the squad, trying to do it in back to back years. It looks right now he's going to be facing Techers, who's made the way all the way over from the United Kingdom. And there's the second timeout for Legends. Going to be fourth and 12, and here comes the field goal. It's a mutt. He's not even a block field goal situation. It's up and it's good. Why don't you go for the block there, Grocer? I. That's a great question. It's about the only answer I have for it. I, I don't even. I, he wasn't even. He was in like a four three there. It's almost like he like he didn't even try. Yeah, I think I, th I think he's feeling not only pretty defl deflated just from a physical standpoint, fighting through some sickness, flu-like symptoms. I mentioned before, Walter Payton had his biggest rushing game ever with 103 temperature. Jordan, you know what he did in the flu game? Not to be for legend. Needs a miracle right now. That'll be a first down as Nuke still on his feet to the 46. Two different players tried to get a fumble there. Neither one of them were successful. DeAndre wins three battles there. The battle off the line of scrimmage, and then both players trying to take his football away. So market at 46, first and 10. Still time on the clock, but he needs three scores. And it's going to be picked off by Amos off the tip. And he'll head up the left sideline and step out of bounds at the 47-yard line. GG's in the chat. Time of possession for this half has just been all dominated by Techers. Turnover there, that's going to be the third turnover for Legend this game. Techers has already had the ball for an excess of five minutes this half, and he's looking to hold on to it for the last three as well. We might have history in the making here. As RG flies in another note, saying this would be the first win ever by an international player versus an American player in competitive history. And he's talking about we're going all the way back just not in the MCS era. So uh, this is the first, but I promise you it won't be the last. That's right. That's including back in the Madden Challenge days when they had a winner from Germany, Mexico, Canada, uh, and the UK, I believe, were the four uh, territories, we'll say, that were represented there. Uh, I do remember when they all had a challenge winner. Uh, and yes, they were all defeated in the first round. If, if the Madden bus was a double-decker, you probably would have saw many more English players back in the day, but we're glad to have Techers here. He's put up 20 points, up by 17. And I can't say it's uh, it's not milk and cookies time, it's, it's milk and biscuits time. My favorite double-decker, probably a moon pie, if we're going double-deckers, maybe oatmeal cream pie. I'm trying to think what I'd like to stack up. Maybe some chicken and some waffles. A little red velvet waffles, a little chicken in it, maybe Sriracha, get a little vanilla maple syrup over the top. You're fancy. I am fancy. I'm glad you finally noticed this. Hands it off to Fournette. Got a lot of room, but can't get away from Lawrence Taylor. No timeouts for Legends. That should be able to take us to the two-minute warning. Techers is going to be able to run this ball out as long as he gets one more first down. Tell me, RG today has been, he might be the new Donnie Moore. He's, he's, going, he's been full Adam Schefter. This whole time, of course, he's here scouting uh, to get ready for the club championship. That's coming up next week, January 30th, so that's not too far away. Got to get ready to see these 32 guys, and 
Boy, Techers is going to have his hand full in this next game. I I'm not saying that, I'm not just besmirching anything Legend has done here. But the passing game and the offensive goes. It's going to be a different book. What a spin move there by Leonard Fournette. A little early on the truck, but I'll pick up the first down. 12 carries for 34 yards. That was his biggest one. Just gets into open space. Almost makes him, almost ran right through that man. Going to snap this ball with a little less than a minute and a half left. It's the best formation in football for Techers right now. It's the only time it's good to bend the knee. And he's going to soak in every moment of this. Guess that gives us time to let Techers know he appreciates everybody back at home watching him, his girlfriend, his entire family out there. He did let us know that this first win, and he did say his first win was going to be for you guys. Oh, Techers has a fit bird back home, huh? I Probably. My name's Becky. I don't have a name. I don't have a name. I don't have it in my notes here. But um, I have a buddy, good friends from, from Britain, and when he talks about his lady, he says she's a real fit bird. That's a good thing. Time's going to run down. We've got to get you out of the country, man. You, I don't, you've been to like two states in your whole life, your home state and Nevada. Two of the greatest places <laughs> in the world, I believe, is what you're saying. <laughs> Uh, sure, buddy. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We don't, <laughs> we know we're not counting the District of Columbia as well. I've hey, attended I'm okay a couple home yeah, games. Yeah, I like that. A little land over Maryland. I'll give, you, I'll give you some credit there. And Techers will ha be playing in its first Madden Club championship. And it's going to be versus goes in the final. And uh, that's a tall task. He's got a moment here to get himself a little H2O, stretch the legs. When they reset the stage and... Get ready for a big final.